Ethiopia is the most populous landlocked country in the world. With 102 million people stretching its borders, it's also the second most populous country in all of Africa. In the past 15 years, there has been a dramatic population growth, and with that has come an increased need for electricity and energy. Just over there, looks like a substation. And that means power. While urban centres have supported an ambitious call for electrification, the size of the country has posed a challenge to reaching the more rural areas. To speak about the challenges, I sat down with the Minister of Energy, who has an ambitious goal of 100% electrification by 2025. Now, there's a certain technique involved in this, isn't there? Of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're going to make this look really easy. <laughs> Delicious. So where did your mum give birth to you? Were you in it's the same village? In the village, yes. Because this is a this is a frightening statistic. Eight eight hundred women a day die from pregnancy related issues, and ninety nine percent of those are due to a lack of resource. It's a immense problem. Uh, in Ethiopia alone, seventy million people are without access to electricity. If we want to transform society in terms of economic development, social development, or even environmental sustainability, you need electricity. I'm driving six hours south of the capital to see firsthand the scale of the challenge the country is facing in its quest for total electrification. The drive has been pretty uneventful. A single lane highway with the usual farm life. Cows, donkeys, horses or crossing the road when they want, so you've got to be careful about that. But I've now left that road, and I'm on a real dirt track. And it's just giving me a real sense of just how remote these areas are in southern Ethiopia. Salam. The village I'm going to is called Ashoka, and it's a community of around 24,000 people and servicing it from a healthcare perspective is one clinic, which is powered by a mobile power plant. ماشي مجمرة إن تك أمين أبرة إيهن سولار سولار وسائل متعب في تين أبرة إيهن ياو بس أهينو تشارج من درجو. This is what you used to use. This was this was before solar off-grid solutions. It was these little solar panels. أوني أشي غريل أبلو تستكاكل. Is that a woman giving birth? Yeah. متولد الناس نتشالش شوست. Let me take this dinosaur from you. <laughs> I'll let you go. Galati Chama. Access to stable power in this clinic has had a transformative effect on mothers like Dubani, who is pregnant with her third child. It will be the first one she delivers outside of her home. Dubani is within walking distance of the clinic. The clinic has 24-hour electricity, which means 24-hour care and refrigeration, vital for storing medicines and vaccines. It also means access for expectant mothers to equipment like ultrasounds. Dubani, kattabatu an basarat takatat la lechi. Ba majamara lejo cho ultrasound al taiye cho nabar. Aun gum ba zinya odi cho ultrasound dema dema taiye chance agin ta lechi. What you've seen in this clinic has only been made possible because of this. 
This containerized power solution, it's got solar panels, it's got storage, it's got a diesel generator that allows power to be consistent when you don't have the sun. Mobile power plants like this allow governments and rural communities access to power in otherwise unreachable places, providing hope not just to Ethiopia, but to over one billion people around the world.